Google recapture, or is it capture? I always get that wrong. Google re something. Everyone knows what I'm on about. So when you click, I'm not a robot, and then you have to click all the puzzle pieces that have a traffic light in or a car in or something like that. Well, these are really useful, especially on Squarespace and on most sites, to be honest, where you let's say you've got people sent in contact forms and you've got them signed up for newsletters. It prevents spam. And especially with newsletters, it reduces friction to people actually getting onto your email list. So I come across this, well, it's not really a problem, but I come across this conundrum the other day, whether to put it in or not to put it in on a website that I was building. And while I was doing it, I realized that not everyone knows how to get the site key set up and how to get recapture, or was it recapture, recapture set up on, on their site. So let's hop into exactly how to do it. Let's get this recapture form. Let's get this recapture added to our site. So if we go to pages and then we go to our contact page or whatever it is that we've got our form, we hit edit, we get rid of me and then this cookie banner, there we go. So double click on our form, then we wanna go to storage, email, I'm gonna put in my business email, sam at bycrawford.com. Then what we wanna do is you see we've got Google recapture here, then basically, we need a site key, we need a secret key. So, create recapture keys. What we then want to do is go into here. We want to give our capture or recapture a name. So, I'm going to just call it code, code examples. Now, Squarespace only takes V2 recapture. So, do recapture. I'm not a robot. Domains, we're going to plug our domain in here. Obviously, you want to put in your actual domain here, not your Squarespace default domain. Then you want to put your email in here. This is the email for my blog because that's where it's taken me. So the man blueprint at gmail.com if, any, if anyone wants to email me. Then you want to accept the terms, move me, which is an optional step, and submit. And then <laughs> I've made myself I've made myself really big here just to cover up the site keys because apparently if these site keys are compromised, it can be bad for security. Not that I'm going to be using it for the code examples website, but you never know. So you take these site keys and then what you want to do is if we go to here, shrink myself back down. You want to paste them into here. So site key, grab that, paste it into there. Secret key, grab that, paste it into there. Hit save, go back, and then we can move on to our form. Then we can toggle recapture if you go down here you can see that it gets put in which is nice and then you can toggle whether you want it dark or light i think light looks better personally if we're on a, a light background maybe on a dark background it looks better who knows you can obviously move it if you want it left center or right i just keep it left and then if you want to do this for newsletter signups, we go into edit, you add wherever you want to add your newsletter. Obviously, it won't be directly underneath, but hey ho. So newsletter, you put whatever you want in the newsletter. Storage, so oops, storage. And you want to take the confirmation email off. So we switch Google recapture on, then we turn the confirmation email off and then boom. So I'll tell you what this does. When you have a newsletter form, I'm not sure what's going on there, but when you have a newsletter form and someone signs up, they aren't automatically added to your profiles list. So your email list, basically. They need to confirm with an email from Squarespace. So let's say someone signs up and your confirmation email lands in spam. They may have signed up and want to receive your updates, but because they haven't clicked the automated button in the email that Squarespace sends, they won't be signed up. So what recapture does is it replaces the need for that. And that means that they have to do this before they click sign up. So if someone really wants to sign up and they do it here, they're guaranteed to go on your email list, which I think is a, is a really good touch. Sometimes it looks a bit crap, to be honest. So for pure aesthetics, I'll show you my new website. Six Figure Squarespace, if anyone is bothered about this, by the way, it's linked in the description. But, so, 
this was me seeing whether the juice was worth the squeeze. I put a recapture on this and it just looked like the aesthetics were just really skew with. They were really off. So what I did was I thought, okay, we'll remove it. We'll trust people to, to sign up and do the confirmation email. Luckily, we've had over 100 sign-ups in about five days, which is really good. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, maybe it was 120 and 20 haven't signed like or haven't confirmed. So there's a bit of a trade-off. I think this is the best way to go. If you're an aesthetics buff like me, maybe just keep it normal. But if you're searching for this video, obviously, you're not that bothered about aesthetics and you want to add a recapture anyway. So... Hopefully, this has been helpful. If it has, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.